go, finally. Oh my goodness. I was going to end the day without a spotty. Wow. Cool fish. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. That's a pretty fish. And back he goes. Excellent. Wow, my line is completely frayed. He really took me into the rocks. Well, not that bad actually. Right there. That's where it starts. So obviously he was sticking his nose in the rocks. not get snagged too often but it will occasionally and, you know I prefer not to lose them but I'm still gonna crawl it right over the rocks oh how cool I don't know if you can see it but there's a number of little fish right here I'm not sure what they are. They're about an inch long. They could be some sort of perch. Anyway, they're hanging out there, so maybe those bass are eating those occasionally. Okay, there, I'm touching bottom. these rocks have hands. definitely climbing over the bottom here. I'm definitely walking along the bottom over here. Oh god. That son of a bitch hit hard. Right on the shoreline too.
blind in one eye. Took off quick. Alright, lucky day. Got a uh, LC courtesy of the Ballast Point Rocks and a couple of spotties. This was the hero bait of the day. It's a um, just a tube bait rigged weedless. I'll go ahead and of course pinch the skin right there. It's got a weight on the inside. I will go ahead and uh, stick the weight up into the bait and then I'll go ahead and get the hook point down and out and making sure that I get it into the loop that's on the weight itself and that keeps the weight a little bit towards the uh, the tip of it inside the bait though so it'll go over rocks and not get stuck I mean occasionally you will get snagged but generally it's um, it's weedless it's kind of snag proof and so that means you can fish it right where they are which is a beautiful thing have a beautiful day